Hi everyone, Bob Does It All here. Today I'm going to talk about a little trick for the BMW 330i. This is the G20 generation, and sometimes you need to put your car into accessory mode, but in this generation, you can get into the car and, you know, the radio will be playing, that kind of thing. But the car is not actually in what you would call accessory mode. And you can try and press the start button here. And it just gives you a message saying, you know, press the brake pedal to start the engine. Nothing else happens. Even if you press it twice, nothing changes here. So, question is, who cares? Why do you, you know, the radio is playing. Why do you want the car to be in uh, so-called accessory mode? Well, if you have a scan tool and you want to, you know, see what's going on with the codes of the car or just kind of want to mess around any DIY stuff, if you have any engine codes that you want to clear, this thing, these things will not work. And I'll show you here. And just plug that in. This will not work if the car is not in accessory mode. So here it's trying to detect it. And we'll just give it a second here. It's trying to communicate with the vehicle. Almost there. And it starts complaining that the vehicle uh, is not in the on position. So the ignition is not in the on position. Even though you can see, you know, you can hear the radio and it looks like accessories are on. Air conditioning you can turn on, all that kind of stuff. But this thing is complaining because it's saying that the car is not actually in accessory mode. So. How do you do it? Uh, I messed around with it for a little while and figured it out. Take the start stop button and press it three times rapidly. That's just this thing beeping. Press this start stop button three times rapidly. And there you go. The vehicle goes into what's called diagnostic mode. What BMW calls diagnostic mode. So three times quickly, and then if I try to connect again with my scan tool, there you go. So it's much happier that you're now uh, in what it considers accessory mode. Now, given that uh, most new BMWs have this same interior, I'm guessing it's not just going to work in the 3 Series, but also in the X7 and, uh, you know, all the other new BMWs that uh, carry this uh, same uh, basic interior. So that's it. That's a quick tip for getting your BMW into accessory mode. Thanks, everyone. Remember to like or subscribe, and Bob does it all.